In The Incredible Hulk, we are given some exposition concerning the scientific origins of the Hulk and how Bruce's transformation works. General Ross tells Blonsky about the research Bruce had been conducting. You're aware that we've got an infantry weapons development program. Well, in WW2, they initiated a sub-program for biotech force enhancement. Yeah, super soldier. And I dusted it off. Got him doing serious work again, bold work. Banner's work was very early phase. It wasn't even weapons application. He thought he was working on radiation resistance. I would never have told him what the project really was. But he was so sure of what he was on to that he tested it on himself. Bruce was working on a serum for radiation resistance. He had been so confident in his research that he took the serum and bombarded himself with gamma radiation, all to prove that it worked. And it did. Sort of. It also resulted in the creation of the Hulk. Later in the movie, after an attempt to cure Bruce of the Hulk, Samuel Stearns rambles off his own scientific understanding of how the Hulk works. Okay, the gamma pulse came from the amygdala. I think Dr. Ross's primer lets the cells absorb the energy temporarily and then it abates. That's why you didn't die of radiation sickness years ago. Now, maybe we've neutralized those cells permanently or maybe we just suppress that event. I'm inclined to think the latter, but it's hard to know because none of our test subjects ever survived. They weren't getting no, the myostatin no, problem. No, 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 test subjects? Now, before we continue, we need to get a basic understanding of the scientific terms used here. The amygdala is a part of the brain concerned with threat detection and emotions, particularly anger. When a threat is detected, it impairs logic, reasoning, and speech. The gamma pulse originates from the amygdala, which is probably why it's triggered by extreme emotion and danger. And the amygdala's impairment of logic, reasoning, and speech explains much of the Hulk's behavior. A primer is a nucleic acid used in the initiation of DNA replication. DNA and RNA are examples of nucleic acids. And DNA replication is the process of producing two copies of DNA from an original source, and is essential for the growth and repair of damaged tissue. This primer was introduced into Bruce's system, intending to spread the mechanism for radiation resistance throughout his body. Myostatin is a protein that acts on muscle cells to inhibit muscle cell growth. It's likely that one of the functions of the primer was to suppress myostatin, allowing for increased muscle growth. This is why Bruce experiences an extreme physical change. This may have originally been included in the serum because radiation can cause muscle atrophy. To summarize, Bruce and Betty were working on a serum that introduced a synthetic primer into the body. This primer allows the cells to temporarily absorb radiation before abating it. This was how they intended to achieve radiation resistance. However, there were some unintended side effects. As a result of bombarding himself with gamma radiation, extreme emotion triggers a gamma pulse from Bruce's amygdala. The primer allows his cells to absorb this radiation temporarily. While the cells contain this energy, they utilize it in multiple ways, including suppressing the effects of myostatin, which partly explains Bruce's extreme physical transformation into the Hulk. When Bruce calms down, his amygdala stops producing this gamma pulse, and his cells stop absorbing energy. This allows for whatever work they were doing to stop and for Bruce to return to normal. What's still left open-ended is how the cells abate the radiation. What happens to it? I doubt it's simply expelled from the body. Otherwise, everyone around Bruce would start to get radiation sickness. Also, how does Bruce's amygdala create a gamma pulse? And how is it able to do so repeatedly? Unless his amygdala can produce more radiation, wouldn't he eventually run out and no longer be able to transform? The assumption I've come to in order to explain some of these questions is that when the cells abate the radiation, they store it back inside the amygdala. This would answer how the radiation is safely abated and why Bruce is able to transform multiple times without running out of radiation. There is a gamma cycle of sorts within his body. 
This would mean the serum somehow turned Bruce's amygdala into a gamma storage organ. How and why this occurred is a mystery. In fact, there's still a lot about the process that's unknown. That kind of has to be the case. It is science fiction, after all. This sort of extreme transformation is not possible in the real world. Also, the characters themselves don't fully understand it, which is what prevents them from finding a permanent cure for Bruce. And I'm no scientist. I came to these conclusions by watching these clips over and over again and looking stuff up in Wikipedia. So, if any real scientists are watching, please correct me in the comments.